So, this is home. A little spare, don't you think? Thought I'd have more dancing girls? <laughs> now there's a thought. I'm just saying maybe you should consider conserving ammo and installing seats with upholstery. Think about it. Keep the place clean, and we'll talk. I guess I can live with it for now. We can't all be fabulously wealthy criminal masterminds, but this bounty hunting gig seems straightforward enough. Besides, I like the idea of doing the chasing for a change, even if I am slumming it. Oh, I picked up a little souvenir from the Royal Museum. I thought we could make sure these get put to better use. Keep your loot. I work for a living. Fine, I wanted some decorations anyway. Brighten up the cell, you know? Oh, it's good to relax. This is as close as I'm getting to it these days. Everyone has limits. Are you kidding? I'm in my prime. I'm talking about trying to unwind here. I mean, really unwind. It's unsettling. I've spent so long keeping one step ahead of somebody, I can't believe I've lost them for good. At least when I'm out with you, I usually know where the blaster fire's coming from. Keeps my mind off trouble, mostly. The less time you and trouble spend together, the better. You've got a marvelously camouflaged sense of humor, you know that? Let's see how easily you brush off your old instincts and catch 40 winks after you've spent 30 years bounty hunting. I knew you were a career scoundrel, but 30 years on the run? Pretty impressive. Things weren't so bad until people finally realized the same guy was responsible for most of their woes. And I've made some enemies over the years, believe me. Two and a half dozen hut families, the entire Karelian Exchange... And there was that whole blockade incident that ran the Mandalorians home with their tails between their legs. Come on, I think I've had my fill of all this cheering up. You know, you're pretty quick to sniff out an opportunity for profit. I like to think I know my business. Ooh, there's no doubt about that. I wonder how much more lucrative our little partnership could be if you applied that intuition to something other than bounty hunting. I'm not opposed to a little moonlighting. Mmm, can't afford to keep all your chips at the same table, am I right? Let me see if I can come up with something that'll play to your strengths, and I'll trust you to recognize a good opportunity when you see one. I've been thinking it over, and I see a lot of room for improvement maximizing your profits. Take catching me, for example. Sure, you got a nice bounty from the Great Hunt, but why stop there? You just need to use a little imagination. And what did your imagination come up with? A few words in the right ears and you could make a lot of money on poor Tiresias' remains. If you don't mind double-crossing crime lords. Offer the body, see who bites, rob them blind. <laughs> Couldn't be simpler. Are all your schemes this blunt? It's not the most elaborate con, but you're new at this. Besides... The scams are a lot less risky when you know you can vaporize anyone in the room. So, that suggestion I had involving my duplicate? Turns out there are a lot of folks out there who've still got a bone to pick with the late Tiresias Loci. A little friendly competition couldn't hurt our final take. I'm thinking an auction would do the trick. I'm open to anything that'll boost our profits. That's just what I wanted to hear. Give me some time off the ship, and I can handle the whole thing by proxy. The only finger you'll have to lift will be the one accepting your credit transfer. Take as long as you need. I'll be back before you know it. What, no parade? Oh, not even a cake? How about at least mustering a good to see you for the guy holding your share of the credits? Sorry to disappoint. Take a drink instead? Well, just this once. You're cut. Pretty good take, considering the expenses. The bidders really couldn't wait to take Tiresias off our hands. I didn't expect much to come of this. I know you didn't, which, if you'll recall, was my point from the start. You might say I've got some experience duping these suckers. Three pirate crews, ten free traders, two exchange bosses, half a dozen huts, one I don't even remember crossing. Kept licking his lips, and I think his name was Druga. It was quite the rogues' gallery. A lot of familiar faces. Brought back memories, let me tell you. Have I mentioned how much pulling that little con has improved my mood? I think that auction put to bed any lingering doubts that Tiresias is dead and gone. And aside from knowing my new identity ought to stick, I'd almost forgotten how much I love a good scheme. Fun and profit. What's not to like? Getting shot at, for one, but working with you has made that pretty commonplace. It's hard to work a proper hustle when you're on the run, chum. I've pulled more heists than cons in recent memory. That was the kind of racket my former partner preferred. Simple, bold, effective. Used to argue about that a lot. 
You had other preferences. Armed robbery is one of the few things I enjoy in moderation. My preference is to be long gone by the time anyone gets wise. That's a lot easier without bounty hunters breathing down my neck. It's about time I got back in the game. Can't afford to let myself get out of practice, after all. Let me tell you a little thing about opportunity. What makes you think I need advice on the subject? You're more an in-the-moment type. Sometimes you've got to see the potential farther down the road. Take this group of fresh-off-the-shuttle Arcona I met at the Mosila spaceport before you showed up. I left those Arcona with a stellar impression of Geller rowing, helpful merchant, and earmarked them for a return trip once things died down. What makes them good marks? You know why they were traveling to a dump like Tatooine? Seems fresh water's hard to come by on Kona. These rubes heard about moisture farming on Tatooine and figured it was their ticket to riches. Fleecing these yokels will be like taking candy from a baby. The key is finding the right scheme. You really enjoy seeing what you can get away with, don't you? Surely a Mandalorian can appreciate testing one's limits. Moisture farmers aren't exactly rolling in credits, but a whole colony of them can add up. Remember those Arcona colonists I was telling you about? Well, I've got the perfect racket to skim a little profit off those moisture farming saps. Salt. This, I have to hear. I used to know this spacey Arconan bagman back on Nar Shadda. Thought the guy was a spice head for the longest time. Turns out I was only half right. This guy's cravings were something else. Now who are you trying to con? If you'd been there, you wouldn't be giving me that look. One night, after making our handoff in some dive diner, he orders some garbage soup and dumps an entire shaker of salt into the bowl. Should have seen the way this guy went at the stuff before stumbling out of the place like it's last call. So? You want to sell them salt? Do we look like two credit traders? We're gonna sell those colonists the answer to all their woes, specially formulated and offered exclusively through Rowing Industries. If I'm right about how much Arcona loved the stuff, our biggest problem will be keeping up the supply. Meet our new product. Had our salt shipment bottled as special tablets to help organics retain water. Now we just need to seal the deal. I want you with me when our prospective buyer calls. Keep him from getting too comfortable. We'll be meeting an Arcona named Gruna to convince him to act as our supplier to the colony. Sounds simple enough. This chump would do anything for enough credits to get off tattooing. I don't think it'll take much to get poor Gruna to bite. Bruna, good to hear from you. Looking well. Lose some weight. Cagriso es reto para nai. Oh, him? Never mind him. Had to let go of my last security detail in favor of this one. Consummate professional. Say hello. We look forward to doing business with you, Gruna. See? A perfect gentleman. You know, Gruna, I'm a bit of a philanthropist. Did I mention that? No, Jabbar. My visit to Tatooine left me inspired by the plight of rugged folks like yourself trying to squeeze life out of that dust bowl. Making life easier for the little guy, that's my motto. And helping you hardworking souls is now my personal mission. He'll put himself in the poorhouse if that's what it takes. My associate worries too much. My friend Gruna and his pals wouldn't leave me holding the bag. There'll be plenty of prosperity to go round. The top chemists at Rowing Industries developed this little wonder for us. A compound designed to maximize water retention in organic life forms. The benefit to hard-working subsistence farmers such as yourself is immeasurable. It's a better plan for your savings than investing in this garbage. This is lower than I'm willing to sink, Galt. I must be having some kind of flashback. <laughs> Can't find decent help these days. Just uh, let me handle my associate and we'll finish our business. Snap out of it, buddy. It's Geller. Geller Rowing, your boss. Don't mess this up. We're better than this. And I thought you might be too ruthless for this business. I can't even begin to express my disappointment. Looks like I'm sending you the whole shipment, free of charge. Choke on it. Just so we're clear, me talking to you doesn't mean I'm not still irked about that last job. I know it was your deal, but I couldn't go through with that. Maybe next time. I'm surprised you're open to it next time after that little show. I think it's fair to say you owe me another go, and not just anything. I'm talking about a big score. I'm sure I can think of something that won't upset your precious sensibilities. Notice anything different? 
Are you gonna get upset if I say no? <laughs> Hardly. I'll just chuck it up to fine craftsmanship. Just acquired some nice form-fitting blast armor. Thought I'd see if it would stand up to a trained eye. Apparently so, if your observation is any indication. The equipment I'm providing not cutting it? No complaints. This is purely supplemental. Since I'm still putting myself in harm's way, I decided to make a little investment in my well-being. Been stocking up on interesting tidbits at every port we've hit. From here on, I'm ready for anything. So, what do you know about Hilo Viz? Uh, I've heard the name. She was some big-time spacer, wasn't she? Ah, you could put it that way, if you're partial to understatement. She broke the Mandalorian blockade at the Hidian Way. You know, the one that strangled Coruscant and dashed a full-scale Jedi assault. And it wasn't out of the goodness of her heart, either. Credits were involved. A lot of them. She's single? I heard that. No, she's dead. According to the rumors, anyway. Most think the Huts were behind Hilo's disappearance, but anyone who knew her could tell you they'd have better odds winning a marathon. No, she's still out there. Somewhere. Not to mention her credits. Oh, that isn't exactly the case. Hilo was my old partner. More than that. That blockade run was the last thing we ever did together. Like I said, a lot of credits were involved. When I saw the opportunity, I took off and left Hilo holding the bag. Stupid. Reassuring. Hey, I said it was stupid. I learned my lesson. Listen, I found out that an old associate from that blockade run is still around and kicking. A mutual acquaintance. I owe Hilo one last visit. If he knows where she's been laying low all this time, I've got to track him down. I caught up with that old associate from the blockade run. Old Quan and I had a nice little chat. He was surprised to see me, to say the least. Can you trust him to keep quiet about your new identity? Oh, I'd say he'll remain mum on the subject indefinitely. Don't give me that look, I bought his last round. Before I had to end Quan's retirement prematurely, I convinced him to fill me in on some gaps in our history since the blockade run. When the Huts came looking for their return investment, Hilo Viz smuggled herself off to Republic space with the help of another free trader. That definitely increases her odds of being alive. I'm not so sure, given where she was headed. Remember Zale Barrows? She cut a deal with that twerp to hide her on Del Savis. If she's still stuck there, this is my chance to swoop into the rescue. I've got to go after her. If it means this much to you, count me in. This is personal. A little too personal. I've got to take care of this on my own. If I don't make it... Well, thanks. I don't think Tiresias would have ever gotten this opportunity. When did you get back? Oh, a little while ago. I wasn't exactly in a talkative mood. My little pipe dream involving Hilo went about as you'd have expected. I'm here, if you want to get it off your chest. I'm not exactly used to spelling my guts, but okay. After all these years, I finally caught up with her and she hadn't changed a bit. I found her on Bel Savis in some sort of stasis chamber. It was like I just left. At least she didn't have time to nurse an old grudge. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, regardless, it wasn't pretty. If she'd had a blaster, she'd have shot me the moment she came to. Lucky for me, she recognized that prison wasn't the place to hash things out. She took off the first chance she got. Hardly the reunion I was looking for, but I got her out of that pit. That counts for something, right? She'd have been stuck down there forever if you hadn't. She deserved better than that. Hey, who needs love anyway? <laughs> Thanks. If you'll excuse me, I need to create a hangover to nurse. You're not gonna believe this. I heard from Hilo. She's willing to take me back if I'm willing to show she means more to me than me. Sent the message certified, credits on delivery. Oof, almost cleaned me out just to have it delivered. I hope you get her back. She's my kind of lady. One of a kind. Too bad it took me this long to figure it out. I feel like I'm back in my prime. Not that I'd slipped, I'm just unburdened. I owe you for that, so I thought I'd say it. And don't go making a big deal out of it. Glad I could help. Really. I've gotta hand it to you. You really surprised me. You're not what I would call a conventional partner in crime. But we're really turning out to make quite the team. That mean I'm stuck with you? <laughs> I'm afraid so. You and me, we're going to carve out a criminal empire, or at least accumulate one heck of a fortune. Your children's children won't know what to do with it. I'm telling you, wild space is the limit.